Yeah. So, so Lee, what are you going to show us here? We live in a world where there's so many different devices to collect information. And it's going to be relayed from wherever it is. And in this diagram is, a, is an iPhone or a phone. Did I just say iPhone? <laughs> it's, it's coming I mean, from a phone. You did. And it's it, that raw data is being sent over to whoever's processing it. And this could be company X who's processing that data. And, and all of these, all this information from his phone, her phone, all of that has to be sent over the wires and processed here in one place. People who are getting smart about it are actually going to be doing their processing right here on the device. And then sending back instead of that raw data, it's just sending back the one piece of data that it needs over here. So that the bottleneck is is no longer on this guy. So I'm over here creating reports. You're saying that they're starting to process on the device so that it doesn't have to be processed here. Uh -huh. So then once you have all this data here, people think you can then join it within your visualization tool. But let's talk about this. Visualization tool. You visualize with it, okay? Uh -huh. A lot of people, like I said, they're trying to bring all of their data and have it all blended within this tool. It's not made for that. There are other tools that you can put right here in the interim, and these are what we're calling, I mean, you can do like a prep. Exactly, so then you bring all of this data into a data prep tool, and that takes the bulk of the work, so then there's only one source going here, so we do all these sources here. Mm -hmm. So to your point, now processing is being done on the device before it's ingested. Mm -hmm. Same goes to visualization. 